Welcome to another Power Pivot screencast from Michelle and Ed. My name is Michelle Hart and I'm a technical writer for Microsoft. This video is third in a series about using Power Pivot to import data into an Excel workbook. In this video, I show you how to import data from a SQL Server relational database. I'll start by importing data from a corporate SQL Server relational database. The first step is to find and connect to that database. Then I'll choose which data to import. So first, open the Power Pivot window. On the Power Pivot ribbon, click From Database and select From SQL Server. This launches the Table Import Wizard, which guides me through setting up a connection to an external data source. I enter the name of my server and select Use Windows Authentication. My database is named Contoso. I want to select from a list of tables and views, and when I click Next, the wizard displays a list of all the source tables within my database. I select six tables, DIM Channel, DIM Date, DIM Entity, DIM Product, DIM Product Category, and Fax Sales. I already know that I need only some of the data located in the DIM Product and DIM Product Category tables, so I will apply a filter to those two tables before I import them. To do this, select the row for the DIM Product Category and click Preview and Filter. At the top of the Product Category Name column, click the arrow and clear the Select All checkbox. Scroll down the list and select each category except Music, Movies and Audiobooks, and Games and Toys. Click OK. I select the row for DIM Product and click Preview and Filter. When the Preview Selected Table window opens, all the columns in the DIM Product table are displayed. I clear the checkboxes at the top of the columns for Class ID, Class Name, and Style ID. Notice that the words Applied Filters are now displayed in the DIM Product and DIM Product Category cells. If I click on one of these links, I'll see a textual description of the filters that I just applied. Now let's import the selected tables and columns. While importing the data, the wizard displays how many rows have been fetched. When all the data has been imported, a message indicating success is displayed. Notice that I imported nearly 4 million rows from my fax sales table alone. When I click Close, the Power Pivot window displays. Each table has been added as a new tab in the Power Pivot window. I can keep this data current by doing a manual refresh. If the contents of the SQL database change, refreshing keeps my Power Pivot data up to date. For more information on refresh, please watch the refresh video. The wizard imports the table relationships along with the data. I can click on the relationship icon for more information. Here I see that the fact sales date key column is related to the date key column in the dim date table. I've added data from my corporate SQL Server database using the table import wizard. During the install, I filtered my data to import only those tables and columns that I needed for my analysis. The next video in this series shows you how to import data from an Access database. I recommend watching the videos in this series in order, especially if you're following along using your own installation of Power Pivot for Excel. Some of the steps in one video build upon steps taken in a previous video. Thank you for taking the time to view this video. I hope you found it helpful.